Hello guys, it's Drugent. Um, I want to just show you this time really, really quickly uh, the, the main settings which you're supposed to change before running Counter-Strike. I mean, it, it's not something what you really, really need to have changed, but um, I really recommend doing that and yeah, I'll just uh, show things which you actually ask for because I've seen some comments and, and some people uh, texted me that they all would like to know stuff. So yeah, that will cover everything from those things which you guys asked. Let's start uh, with settings which you should change in uh, in your graphic card settings. I got Nvidia, so let's go to uh, control panel of Nvidia. And in manage 3D settings, you need to make sure that you switch off the uh, very bottom option in here, which is uh, vertical sync. It has to be off. So it will allow you to run more than uh, more FPS than your refresh rate of your uh, screen is. So you will have to, you know, extra FPS after setting up in a game. So when you will run into the smokes or something, your your FPS will not drop drastically from you know 60 to I don't know 40 or whatever. It's quite useful to have it. The other thing what I change is adjusting desktop color settings down on the bottom in here you got digital vibrance and that normally is set up for like 50 so what I do is set it up for a hundred that I will just uh, brings up your colors your color is gonna be more um, brighter just everything gonna be more colorful so um, it, it helps you to spot enemies and things like that it just makes game even look better it's not really that you have to use it, but I highly recommend that at least you can check it out and if you don't like it, you can switch it off. So, um, second thing what people ask about is uh, your Steam launch options. So, just go to your games, right click, Counter Strike, go to properties and then you go, there you go, um, set launch options. Yeah, that's. I know that is quite confusing. I use just a few of those and you know, that's what I'm gonna recommend to you. If you want to play with more of those, you can search for it on the internet. We'll just cover that what I use. Um, so let's go with the first one, which is um, telling the game how many cores from your processor it's supposed to use. So if you run in four core processor, same as me, you're given four in here. If more like eight, just change it to eight. Second one is um, a lot of people are saying that it's not supposed to change anything. It's just a small improvement for um, alt tab thing, blah, blah, blah. And you're going to switch it off by using this option. But there is the other part of people which says that even that little option improve like um, FPS for boosted that FPS even for like 50. So, you know, I'm just keeping it. It does no harm having it and you know just just staying here so next thing is switching off the joystick so by this option you're gonna just turn off joystick options it will as well improve a little bit um, this one is forcing your game to run in uh, like 144 hertz which my screen is 144 so that's why I'm doing it. If your screen refresh rate is something like 60 or 80 you're supposed to put in here that 60 or 80. And uh, next one, no vid, it will just cut out the videos on the beginning of the uh, of the starting uh, Counter-Strike startup sort of so it will just jump nicely and smoothly into the main menu straight away. It will save just a little bit of your time and minus high is the very last one. It will just prioritize your uh, Counter-Strike process in your system. So, uh, you know, your system will focus a little bit more on that process and give that little boost for it as well. So yeah, that's that's actually all from those. I will put that in description so you can guys copy it and use it, play with it, whatever. The very last thing in this video gonna be my config. I know there is few people asking for it, few people asking for my crosshair and yeah, there you go then, there is my crosshair. If you want to copy it, just download my config and on the very bottom you got my crosshair. Copy into your own uh, config and you can use that little red dot. I know that 
Some people hate on it, some people love it. It's up to you. I like to play on it and it's very useful for me. It's better than another crosshair. If you want to use my config, um, you don't have to change any bindings and stuff because I don't actually use, I don't actually add bindings to my config. All bindings we got is just by menu sort of. I'm by, binds for for uh, buying because I'm lazy and the other one for um, jumping on a scroll so that's actually it so loading my config will not harm your bindings which is sort of cool for some people and if you don't want to use my config there is one thing what you're supposed to do is uh, using that option if you're not using that already is changing your radar so you can see actually um, whole map uh, not like on standard radar option that you know it turns and it follows the way you go around it's, it's just really confusing so what I do I'm using that one it will center your um, your mini map like sort of your, your radar and you will see whole map on it and you you don't have to rely on the info if you play with randoms or in matchmaking and you're not gonna get that essential info that they coming in or rushing in some site uh, let's say you're on A and they come in B, you can easily see that on radar and you can rely on yourself, which is, you know, really, really good and helpful in, in random matches. And not only random, because sometimes, you know, enemies are popping on a map because of the little steps and stuff like that. So yeah, playing with radar and using that option is highly recommended by me, guys. Try this out. I tried it and I, ca I couldn't stop using it, so... Yeah, have fun with it. So there you go, guys. That's my config. I will just quickly show you for new people to Counter Strike how to put your config in. So you need to go to your Steam. I got Steam on in Program Files. If you installed it somewhere else, then just go to Steam. In Steam, go to um, Steam Apps, then Common, then Counter Strike Global Offensive, then CSGO from CSGO to CFG and you drop in it in this folder. So after copying it to this folder, uh, just start up your game. Make sure in options that your console is enabled. Press console button, type in IXIC space and the name of the config, which is true in this case. And after that, press enter, your config will load in, you will have, have all changes which you like. So, yeah, that will be actually it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, I hope um, it wasn't too long. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if you like it, if you want some more, op uh, more options or more settings, uh, which you don't understand and you want me to cover, just leave in comment section below. I will definitely answer or make a respond video to it for now that will be it take care guys and see you on next one peace